Hello, this is Penelope Jane Whiteley from Aging Disgracefully and a Happy New Year to you all. A little late, but better late than never. I hope you all had a fabulous Christmas. Did you eat too much? Did you drink too much? Did you do too much? Period. And how are you going with your New Year's resolutions? Did you make any? What are your top three New Year's resolutions? I don't suppose one of them includes diet, does it? Because for most of us it does. What I did was I googled um, the top 10 New Year's resolutions in the UK and in the USA. And you can see the list in the letter that goes with this video. And in a nutshell, when you analyse the figures and everything they have there, the top four New Year's resolutions are to exercise, whether it's going to a yoga class or to the gym or taking up hiking or playing polo, whatever. More exercise is required and more exercise is what you are determined to get at the beginning of probably every year. Number two is to lose weight. And this is something we hear every year, every year at the beginning of the year, five million new diets appear, the old diets appear, and they're all basically the same. And really, this is the test of whether you really do want to lose weight, or if you just want to play it saying, I'm on a diet and I can't eat this and I can't eat that and I'm actually starving myself to death and I'm not losing weight. Not only am I not losing weight, but I was on the diet for two months and at the end of the two months I came off the diet and a month later I put on more than I originally lost. How often does that happen? Quite regularly, I think. Number four, of course, number three. Let's get to number three first. Number three on the list was a resolution to eat better. That means no junk food, remove the crap from your diet, salads, vegetables, antioxidant nutrition, fish, meat in small quantities. Just eat better and get rid of the rubbish. It's rubbish is aging, it causes health problems, it will increase your weight, and as you've just gone on a diet, you don't want to do that, do you? The fourth, th fourth thing, of course, on the list, or the nutshell list, really, is self-care. To take more care of yourself. Every week of every year to have time alone. Even if it's only an hour to take yourself and have your nails done, or take yourself off and take the dog for a walk for three hours in the country with nothing around you but birds singing and the dog getting excited and you with your thoughts. Spend more time on you. At the end of the day, you are the most important people, people, person in your life and certainly the most important person in the lives of the people around you, friends, family, and the rest. So look after yourself. Sleep, please, sleep. Eight hours sleep is a wonderful thing. As we get older, that concentrated eight hours is harder to get because we tend to sleep better in small bursts. And if you need a nap in the afternoon, take one. Remember, self-care. Have you seen how many diets there are around at the moment? <laughs> I keep getting confused because I can't tell one from the other. All I know is they all seem to be based on deprivation. You're going to cut out protein or you're going to increase protein. You're going to get rid of carbs or you're going to increase carbs. Whatever happens... You're unlikely to be happy and you're probably going to go through at least a week of detoxing. The best diet I have come across, yes, I'm back on it. And yes, I have done it before. I did it a couple of years ago and I dropped 12 kilos, which is about um, 20 pounds maybe um, in three months. And I've kept it off ever since. The 5-2 diet or the fast diet. 
it's absolutely the best I've ever found. I love it because it's based on intermittent fasting and I like the fast days. Five days a week you eat normally. Obviously you've got rid of junk food so you're eating sensibly. You're having probably three meals a day and they're all well balanced and they're all good from a nutrition point of view. And two days a week my days are usually Tuesday and Friday. Sometimes I make them Monday and Thursday. I like to ring the changes. Uh, you eat 600 calories, which sounds very little and sounds extremely hard to do. In reality, it's very easy to do. And it's surprising, after the first time you do it, how comfortable it becomes. There is a book I specifically recommend. Again, it's the link to the book is in the letter below this video. And it's the 5-2 fast diet book. It's based on intermittent fasting, as I say, and it really does work for everybody. It doesn't matter how old you are or what shape you are or what condition you're in. It will work. And I love it. And if you really want to lose weight, and especially if you're over 50 and you're struggling, because, of course, your hormones, if they haven't disappeared already, they're certainly on the way out. Your metabolism is slowing, which is, and there's really nothing you can do about that. And, of course, it's just the attrition of aging. You will put on weight. You will become thicker around the waist. These are things that most of us cannot avoid. Even the skinniest people become thicker around the waist. And no, we don't like it, but it's the way it is. So this particular 5-2 fast diet does work, especially if you're a woman over 50. I'm 70 and it works for me. And I know people a lot older than me and a lot younger than me who've had tremendous success on this diet. So my suggestion is try it. You have nothing to lose but the weight. Um, blogs. Blogs. Yes, there have been quite a few blogs that have gone out recently. One was written by one of our new writers, whose name is Agnes Knowles. Agnes is Canadian, lovely woman. And she's written a, a blog about dating. But it's not what you're thinking. So I suggest you read it because it's really very interesting. Also, I've brought out several blogs of late, one on mindfulness, which I'm afraid is starting to become a buzzword. It's not a word I particularly like personally, but that's just me. Um, I prefer awareness. Why? I don't know. It just feels better to me than mindfulness, which sounds very catchy and very new age-ish and very woo-woo. So, yes, buzzword as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, Do You Shower Too Much was another blog that I wrote fairly recently. And it's true, we do all shower too much. You think about it, you get in the shower and, and you're covering yourself in chemicals. Chlor chlorine, sodium, sodium thingamy and all those dreadful chemicals. You can smell it in the water. So if your skin is super, super dry, it could be because you're showering too much. I have found a very special oil I use on my skin because my skin was dreadful. I looked like a snake shedding on a bad day. And I was getting rashes and I itch a lot, especially on my legs. And I found Arnica oil. Again, there's a link to the product in the letter that comes with this video. And it's just the best thing I've ever used on my skin, particularly now at this age. And my skin no longer looks dry and wrinkly and awful and as though it's shedding. It's just looking well fed and nourished and doesn't, yeah, I guess it looks a little plumper, which is fantastic. If you have anything that works even better than the Arnica oil, then please let us know all about it. Another video has also gone up, so if you haven't been looking at the blog lately, take a look. You'll find there's a lot there. Travel. I've planned two so far for this year. The first is Italy, September, October. I have to do Italy every year. 
can't not do it. Again, it will be Firenze and the Amalfi Coast, Cosentina Amalfi, um, either both or individually. So five days in Firenze and five days on the coast or 10 days altogether. It's entirely your choice, but I need to know soon because I need to finalise bookings. The other little uh, jaunt I'm planning is Vienna, Prague for Christmas, New Year. Again, five days Vienna, Prague or five days Vienna, no, five days for each. So that will be five days up to Christmas in Prague and five days in Vienna, which will take us through to New Year. So you get the markets, you get the wonder of Europe at that time of year, because Christmas in Europe really is quite stunning. Uh, you won't get the weather that you were well, having in the States at the moment, which is appalling. How dreadful to have to go through that. Um, it will be a magical, magical time. So again, if you want to join us, please let us know as soon as possible. And on to writing your book. I've asked you this several times before. No one's got back to me, so I'm going to make my own decision in a moment. Um, would you rather run it? I run it as a 21-day challenge. So every day there is a new class and a new um, PDF that you complete for the day. And at the end of the 21 days, you have a book. Or would you rather, I just downloaded it as four separate downloads, complete with the same PDFs. And basically, you're accountable to yourself and nobody else. This is your preference. And I would like to know which you would like, because it seems pointless putting them both up when only one is what's needed. Um, I think that's about it for this week. Or last week, whenever it was. Um, I went yesterday to have my hair cut. I was going to my usual hairdresser, but to be honest, I'm tired of paying £180, which is a fortune to have my hair cut and to have my colour done. So I went to the El Cheapo, something magic cuts or something, just up the road. And it's a good cut, but it's much shorter than I anticipated. Um, I like it. I have to wear a hat because it's cold outside and my head gets freezing. But it will grow, so not a problem. Have a wonderful week. In fact, I'll probably be back very soon from Salisbury, which is where I'm heading to tomorrow, the cathedral town, Old Sarum and Stonehenge. If you would like to see what's happening and what I'm doing down there, then please keep following. and. Um, it's all going to start becoming exciting again, I hope, especially as I head off to France shortly. So yes, enjoy. Don't spend too much in the sales. There'll be a blog about the sales later, having just come out of a huge retail outlet. Talk to you soon. Ciao, ciao.